Before we begin, I'd like to thank the following members for joining my channel and helping support the community grow more and more. Thank you so much. If you would like to become a member, make sure to push the join button beside the subscribe button. And here comes the video. Hey guys, Oliver Windows here, and today I am back with another video. And whoa, look at that. My setup is different. Wait, I'm not using a laptop? Told you I don't have, I mean, I told you I have more than just laptops. <laughs> Um, but today what I'm going to be doing in this video is I'm going to be installing Windows Embedded POS Ready 2009. So I the disk drive in this computer does not work, unfortunately. So I was forced to put it on this USB stick. Fortunately, this thing does boot from USB. I mean, it's a Windows Vista machine. I, I, was, I would hope it would. But I guess without further ado, let's get right into the video. So first I'm going to go ahead and plug the USB in here and go ahead and power it on. Of course, it's gotta be really loud whenever it, all, it turns on. Go ahead and push F12. All right, loading boot menu. All right, go and go down and select the Kingston Data Traveler. And it should boot into USB, there we go. Starting installation environment. And then it does the typical Windows XP thing where it says press F6 to, to run that. So I'm running this on a Dell Inspiron 530. It has an Intel Core 2 Duo in it. It oh what, what the heck? It's got the Windows XP logo. I didn't re wait. I didn't realize that. Um. Anyways, this thing I think I think it has a 500 gigabyte hard drive. It has two gigabytes of RAM, so it's not that much, but it's more than I need for the uh, operating system. Auto adjust in pro. Look at that setup is initializing. Ooh, pretty. I like this. Dang, there's a lot, there's like a lot more like options here. I've used this operating system before. I just don't remember what it's like. I just, I know I like it. <laughs> all right, good. The mouse and keyboard do work. So, all right. Welcome to the Windows Embedded POS Ready 2009 Setup Wizard. This wizard will guide you through the installation process. To continue, choose next. No problem. So I'll do the interactive setup. I won't do the unattended because I'm going, I'm sitting here doing nothing anyways. So I'll just go ahead and push next. I accept, I agree. My name is Gabe, my organization is AOW. No additional storage drivers are required. Setup will use storage drivers from POS Ready Installation Media. The first one will do, okay. I'm just saying because I don't know if this, uh, this uh, ISO has the proper drivers for my hard drive I have. And it's a SATA hard drive. I know Windows XP doesn't like it very much. And I actually downloaded an ISO that had all the SATA drivers on it. It just didn't work. But there it is. There's all my partitions. So, um, hmm. So my unpartitioned space isn't on here. Just my other. Interesting. Well, looks like I'm restarting the computer and freaking, uh, Partitioning the uh, 131 gigabytes I had. I don't know why it's like that. Ah, <sighs> bruh. I'm no, I'm not factory resetting this thing. I I I made an unpartitioned disk uh, part because this has memories on it. This is this was my grandparents' computer, so it has a bunch of uh, pictures and stuff on it. I don't want to get rid of right now. Just wait. Yeah, uh, there it is. <laughs> it it uh it played it. So the unallocated, I'm going to do new, new simple volume and just leave it at that. Keep it at K. <laughs> Next, all this should be the same. Next, finish. Now we gotta wait on it to finish that up. Format, there we go. All right, now I gotta freaking restart the computer again. One more time, <laughs> back into freaking Windows 7. I figured it out, I hope, anyways. Also, yes, this is just a big smudge of dead pixels because it fell when it was in the shed. It hit something right there, but somehow it just broke that spot and not the rest of it. Wait, why didn't it boot into the USB? What the heck? I just now realized it wasn't booted because I looked at my live stream and I saw the Windows 7 boot up. Whoa. You see the color weirdness up there? All right, finally booting back into Windows, uh, Windows XP. Let's hope the freaking partition actually works. Right, next, next, product key. All right, I accept. Next, please show up. 
Please show up this time. Please work. Please don't freaking screw me over again. All right. Is it going to work? Yes. Next. Okay. Freaking finally. Good lord. Should I? I'm just going to perform a quick format. I'm sure it, it will be fine. Thank you. Uh, install files for complex scripts. Script and right to left languages. Install files for each. I uh, don't think I'll need these. I am in the US. I'm not in Pacific time. I am in Eastern time, which is down here a little bit. I think. No, wait. It's the other way. Ugh, I hate this. Alright, go up, 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 up. Eastern time. Next. Um, should I do custom and select everything? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I always, I love doing this. Oh god. Here we go. I'm putting stuff I don't even need on here. Touchscreen keyboard, which I don't have a touchscreen. Windows Media. Wait. Oh, it's just Windows Media Player. Alright. Uh, what? Paging file size. Computer name. AOW-Win US. Now here's a good question. Does this have uh, any audio? Ha, huh, okay, sure. So that means I can't, okay, I can't do it without a password, got it. There we go. Ooh. Wait, do, can I not just check it and it does it automatically? No. Install. All right, we're installing. Here we go, let's go, let's do this. Copying core OS components. Installing drivers for plug and play devices. Oh wow, it's already restarting. Alright, let's see what happens. Yes, yes. I need to, I seriously need to disable that. That's super annoying. Alright, what's gonna happen? I wonder if it'll try to boot into a bootloader. So I can select between the two oper no, oh, shoot. Crap. Okay. Um I'm just gonna leave it alone. What do I do to fix this? <laughs> uh, why do I keep having problems today? All right, let's try to reinstall like the like they say. It's funny. I tend to only have these problems when I'm on a desktop. Because I mean, look at the laptop and how many freaking builds I've done and videos on them. I don't ever have this problem. But then I get into stuff like this. I've been live for an hour and it's still not even installed. All right, let's try this another time. Hopefully it's the last time. Freaking product key. Here we go, one more time. What is it, the second time's the charm? Third time? What is this, the fourth time now? God, I don't know. All right, let's restart it and let's see what happens. Please just boot up, that's all I ask. A few moments later. Well, it doesn't say. Hey, it worked! Look at that. Now, how the heck am I gonna. Oh man. How the heck am I gonna get back into the other operating system? Oh well, I know how I'll fix it. It freaking worked. Clap, clap, clap. <laughs> First boot agent didn't see what it said. Holy crap, that is a huge mouse. Alright, now it's installing a bunch of stuff. See, I want to eventually set up an actual computer to run this operating system on it. To have an actual POS running on it. Like, have a touch screen and whatever. But basically, buy an actual P uh, POS and install POS operating systems on it. Man, I'm hearing some clicking going on in one of my computers. I can't tell which one it is. So, do you guys think I should go ahead and, uh, for my next stream, I should go ahead and start the Longhorn series? I know I have some ISOs that don't want to do like boot properly or whatever, but oh hey look, it's not uh, boot looped anymore. Awesome. So is this me creating the uh, account now?
Ah, it is not. Okay, there we go. That worked. Nice. I love how it got its own custom theme. So, so, so clearly there's no audio, which I'm sure I can get installed. There's, but man, this thing is bare bones, but it's got a really cool theme to it. So there's not really much on here. I'm surprised media players on here. Actually, no, I'm not. It is a POS. Get out of here. That's kind of funny. Wait, what? Keep your computer up to date. Ah, I see. I will da uh, notify me before doing that. All right, cool. So there's nothing, there's no songs on here, which is doesn't surprise me any. But man, look at this background. I've always loved this background. Oh, right. How do I enable the welcome screen? And does it look any different than the Windows XP one? Control panel and users, user accounts. All right. So I am enabling the welcome screen. Change the way users log on and off. Fast user switch cannot be used because offline files is currently disabled. You can make changes to offline file settings. Click OK. What? It's already, it says it's enabled. It says it's because it's currently enabled. Oh, enabled, my bad. Sometimes I think I have uh, dyslexia. All right. By using the welcome screen, you can simply click your user account name to log on. For added security, you can turn off this feature and use classic logon. All right. Use fast user switching. With fast user switching, you can quickly switch to another account without having to load any programs. Uh, sure. Why? There we go. All right, let, let's uh, log off. All right, cool. Nice. Typical welcome screen. It's just like Windows XP. Hopefully this thing has drivers for USB. Hopefully it doesn't crash. All right, I finally have all the drivers installed, so I'm going to go ahead and reboot. I love how this has a skin on it. Oh, it doesn't anymore. Dang it. I just spoke too soon. Well, what's going to happen next? Ooh, the mouse is small. It's not big anymore. Hey, look at that. That's small, too. Now I can freaking see everything properly. As if I couldn't see it already, but you know what I mean. Loading your personal settings. There we go. That's nice, isn't it? I don't know if it cut out for you guys, but that's nice. And it's much easier to see, too, since it's the proper disp uh, the po proper resolution. Now, why couldn't I install the freaking other operating system I was trying to install on here? Man, the old Windows Explorer. I don't miss it. It's nostalgic, but I don't miss it, that's for sure. So, yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please hit that like button, subscribe if you're new. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed me going through and having so many freaking issues with trying to install this thing on here. Thanks to the help of Rainy Nights, I was actually able to get it installed on here. All I had to do was kind of just, you know, reinstall it, like, I don't know, two or three times, but... uh. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please hit that like button, subscribe if you're new. And I guess that'll be it. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye, guys.